crafty friends. This is Teresa from Fresh and Renewed with Teresa. I have a haul for you today. An absolutely huge haul. So this may take a little while, but if you want to see what I got, keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. On my channel, I do card making videos. Once in a blue moon, I might do a scrapbook layout. And I have just this year gotten into planners. Well, um, I have two, maybe th three, um, three, <laughs> find the camera, um, planner videos already on my channel. I will link all three of those down below if you're a planner and you want to check them out. Um, and then I fell down the happy planner rabbit hole. So that's what a lot of this video is about. And so if you're not a happy planner and you're not into happy planner stuff, then uh, you, this might not be the video for you. So anyhow, I am just going to um, get cozy. It's very cold here in Central Florida and um, get started. So let me move all this out of the way and uh, we will get started. I am going to start with the the planners that I that I have purchased. And I have more coming. So, I'm going to start with those. All right. So the very first thing I bought, my um if you don't know this, my word of the year is a bloom. And so I, when I went shopping with my daughter, um, let me back up a minute. The main reason that I kind of went down the happy planner rabbit hole is because I had shown this planner in one of my other videos. And I was gonna use this planner that I got at TJ Maxx for a very, very inexpensive. Um, I was going to use this for my social media planner and um, my social media for my um, little side job that I do. And so I want to show you the whole reason that, that what prompted this. So I went, got, got into decorating the planner, went. And I did this layout, or well, didn't even do the whole layout, but did this little thing for National Sticker Day. Well, it, any pen that I wrote on here bled through. So, the pages are really thin and everything. So, um, that led me to the Happy Planner. Anyhow, um, I showed it to my daughter who has planned in a happy planner before. I had never done that, but I showed it to my daughter and she said, yeah, you, you would be much happier if you uh, change. So I am going to use this planner as my little scratch planner, kind of um, a pre-planning thing to get some thoughts down, get some things down. I'm not going to decorate this planner any longer. So, um, that's what I'm going to use that for. Now, so then I went to this planner and I had every intention of using this planner as my social media. But in watching planner videos. I've also fallen down the rabbit hole of watching and following lots of different planner people on YouTube. And um, so I am going to use this planner. And this planner is, um, I haven't put my name in here yet. I'll, I'll do that. Um, then, then it has your two calendars. And your perpetual calendar. And I watched a couple of videos on a whole bunch of different ways to use this. 
which I will be doing. Then there's your, what's called a currently page. And then your, your monthly divider. Then your, their monthly spread. And I'll probably be taking January out of here since I'm so late in getting this started. And then this is a dashboard layout. So it goes like that for the, all the weeks and then goes to February. So same, same setup, keep, you know, each month. So I am going to be Franken planning. I've also learned that that is a true term. I am going to be Franken planning this, this a, a planner together. I am going to use this layout because of finding somebody that does this like this. I am going to use this layout for my faith um, journey. Um, I, want, I used to several years ago when I paper planned, I wrote a scripture a day um, and I want to get back to that. And so that is what I'm going to use this for. So... Um, let me, so that is that. Then let me go into the next planner I purchased. And I got this planner. I have a, had a huge Amazon haul. I got this planner on National Sticker Day at Amazon that, um, there were lots of, um, great sales on planner stuff on National Sticker Day on Amazon. And I'm so sad because I thought I ordered a Disney sticker book at a great price. And then the order came and I must have taken it out of my cart thinking that I did. So um, I'm going to stop the video and I'll come back in just a minute when I get this open. Okay, I'm back. I got this open. So this is a teacher planner. And it is a 12-month dated planner. Um, it's a t and so um, I may let's let's see what the inside looks like. So it's a teacher layout. Oh yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna have to redate some of this, and because it's a teacher planner. But I wanted to use this layout mainly because I saw somebody use this layout for my social media. So, um, and I'll take a bunch of these pages out or put them, glue them together. I've seen other planners do that. Glue some, you know, put some of them together because I, you know, I would like to use the thing. It still has your currently page, which I'll, you know, figure out how to use that. And, um, I may get some different, a different, um, hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I wanted this layout, this layout for my, um, social media for my little job that I have. Um, if you don't know, I design, um, paper pads and, um, ephemera and sometimes stamps for a small online company, not too shabby shop. I will link that down below. So if you are a card maker and, uh, you want to get some great deals I, on some products and, um, fast shipping on that, uh, those products, then I will, um, leave that link down below. There's also a discount code down below. So, anyhow, um, I have um, three different, two different, I'm also on this, for not too shabby, I am the social media coordinator. So, I have two different teams post their creations on the not too shabby Instagram. I um, manage the Facebook group and I manage other social media things for for Jamie, um, the owner of the shop. So 
this layout with these little boxes was perfect for that. So that's what I want to, um, to do in this planner. Now, um, it's probably going to take, I, I'm going to start in February, of course. And um, then when I get to um, July, so when I get to August, I will probably go back and put put the rest of it back in my Franken planner and then redate everything. So um, I'll start in February for the, my um, my little social media coordinator um, designer for Jamie and not too shabby. So and I open to this and I love this bloom with grace. My you know, my word of the year is bloom, so I am loving this one. So, that is all I have for, for, for happy planners right now. I do have two more different kind of layouts coming to me. I have a guided journal, which I wanted to start doing, and then I have a, um, a vertical layout coming. Um, and then I also have, um... Well, I also have a wellness layout package coming and another dashboard because I think that I'm going to um, want to use a dashboard for my own um, YouTube channel to plan that out. So, anyhow, so that is, oh, let me show you what else came with this. So, it came with some... Um, sticky notes and some flowers and some little banners. It came with a bookmark. I love that. And it came with some other stickers. So great stickers, great layout. layout. Let's see if I can get these out and show you because I think they're both different. So we have some decorative stickers and then some functional stickers and it goes with the color scheme of the planner. And I love this cover. Love, love, love it. So, so those are my two happy planners. Then, um, here's my Amazon haul. Let's see, okay. All right, no planner girl can have a planner without having some white out, and I only, in the past, have hard, hardly ever used whiteout, and I only had liquid whiteout, so I got some whiteout. I needed some pens that were colored pens, and I thought these were pretty and fun, so I got some colored pens. It's a really, really fine tip pen. I also want to get into lettering. I've wanted to do that for a long time, and so, um, if you know of, um, some good lettering pens, um, um, let me know in the comments down below. Also, I have, um, this is what I do have that I kind of think would work. I have Stampin' Up! writer's pens that have a fine, fine tip on one end and then a brush tip on the other end. So if those would work for lettering and if, if you happen to know, let me know in the comments down below. Then I, I see picture, pi pictures of people all the time in card making using pictures of their cards with this pen sitting beside them or a pen like this. And I just thought these pens were lovely. Well, it came in a package of six and I do not need six pens. So if you would like a pen, um, I will be giving two of these pens away. So if you would like a pen, please leave me a planner tip below. So, um, because I'm brand new to this happy planning, so please leave me a planner tip below in the comments, and um, I will draw this and announce my winner next Sunday when I um, put up my planning video. Okay, then I want, I, I because I'm a graphic designer, and you know, I can get into that. I've also been researching how to make my own stickers, and so, um, 
I bought some vinyl sticker paper. It's frosty clear. However, <laughs> it is glossy. And, um, and I know now that I need some matte sticker paper. So, um, that, that is, that is clear. So I will be getting some of that. All right. My last thing that I want to show you. First, I'm going to show you stickers that my, that one of my best friends was very kind enough to make me. And she has a silhouette. So all of these stickers came from her silhouette account. And so she created stickers. I'm not going to pull them all out and show you to show them to you. She created all of these are functional stickers. And then, um, you know, I have all my Valentine stickers. And then these are words and, um, and months and weekend banners and, and this one. So those are, cause you know, a, a planner person's gotta have stickers. The rest of this is stickers except for this. Um, so I got to, I got this pencil case on Amazon. I will link this down below and, and link the pens down below. I'm not an affiliate with Amazon, uh, so, or, or anything. I don't have affiliates links with that. So I, I liked the fact, and of course I bought the, I ordered the, this before I got into the happy planner stuff. Um, so so I ordered this specifically for my other two planners, um, and um, it's just an elastic band that goes, and it's a little zipper pouch, so. Um, I will still, I do want to show you one more planner before I get into the sticker books. I will still be using my Clever Fox Pro planner, mainly because... You know, this planner was expensive. You know, I kind of paid quite some money for this. So, um, I will be using this as my goal planner and um, as my weekly, you know, personal planner. In the happy planner world, the, the, this is the, they call it their catch-all planner, their personal life. So, that's what... I'm going to use this one for. All right. I am going to show you stickers. Now, I'm not going to do a flip through of any of them. However, um, what, I, what I will do is if you leave me a comment down below that you want a flip through of any of these sticker books, because I mean, I went wild. I had, I had a whole bunch of money saved up um, that I didn't have earmarked for anything. So when I decided I wanted to do this, this happy planner deal, you know what? I just took that money from the drawer that it had been sitting in for the past two years. And I used that money to purchase all of this. So that's what I did. And, um, so, um, my Clever Fox planner is an undated planner. So I needed um, months and knowing that I was ordering that teacher planner. I did order this at the same time, the teacher planner, and I was going to have to redate things. I ordered this. Now, the one thing that I do need are some number stickers. So if you know of any great number stickers, leave that in the description box down below for me. So this is from Life Organized. And I guess there'll be a long list of products down below because I will leave this link down below too. Um, this is from Paper House and um, it's just a whole set of um, months. Then I picked this up. It, this is Agenda 52 from Hobby Lobby. I picked this up because this basically has um, dates and, or days, months, and numbers. So, but I think I'm going to run out of numbers. <laughs> so, there's a, that one. Then this is from Chrissy Ann De Design. 
and it is called Planner Goodness. These are the stickers, you, I think you've seen these. These are the stickers that came with the Clever Fox. This is just something from my stash. Um, then, okay, then from Hobby Lobby, I got the Farmhouse Sticker Book. Um, this one was from Michaels, and it is quote stickers, because you always need a good quote on your, on your um, page, I think. <laughs> This is, I also got this one at Michael's, um, Trendsetter. And I, I had to have a flower book, so I got this one at Michael's, Flowers. I also got this one at Michael's, Layered Boxes. And I got this one at Michael's, Glam Girl. Then I ordered this one from Amazon on National Sticker Day because this one was at a real good price. And I had passed this up at Michael's and Hobby Lobby when I went because I just didn't. That color scheme just doesn't speak to me. However, I saw a couple of layouts with from people using this, this book and I, I thought, oh, I need that. Then I got another sticker book. Um, Seasons of Color, um, Walk by Faith, Homebody Seasons, and I am a homebody, that's for sure, and then I got this little tiny sticker book for, in, and it's got Faith stuff in it, and I, those last few things I got at Hobby Lobby. Okay, then I got a, oh, wait, one more sticker, two more sticker books. And then I got to find one more thing that I got to show you. Okay, uh, I got Year to Shine. And then I got this one from Hobby Lobby, 100% um, Girl. And I really liked the color palette of that one. Then I just picked up some different stickers from Hobby Lobby that they were, all the stickers the day I went were 50% off. So, um, if you don't, if you're new to my channel and you don't know this about me, I love, love, love mermaids and my craft room is decorated in mermaids. You will probably be seeing a handmade mermaid plan or cover this year, this summer. Um, then this one is that same, um, like, like the book, 100% Girl. Then I got some Easter stickers and some spring stickers, some faith quotes. Butterflies and florals, are these not gorgeous? And then some Valentine stickers. So, then I got one more thing to show you that I love, I fell in love with this. I did make an Etsy purchase of some printables and then I found this by watching somebody. Um, these are called, or this is from the Etsy shop Red Lyrics Studios. And um, these are called planner dolls. Um, with the order, um, she sends you a, your name printed on a card. How gorgeous is that? I'm going to make this into a bookmark um, and probably use it for the spring quarter. Then she sends you a little calendar. And then here are the planter dolls I purchased. Now, I purchased um, this in mine. <laughs> I had like $70 worth of planner dolls in my cart and I thought I cannot spend that much money on planner on 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 stickers from this shop. So, I decided to just scale back and just buy a for a couple of months. So, I bought ones for um February. I did also bought some she had some nice quotes too. And I bought these before I bought those quotes at, um, 
at Hobby Lobby, or I probably would have not, not purchased the quotes and purchased more planner dolls. And then I got those. And I got these. And some more um, quotes. And I am a coffee lover. And so I had to have some coffee girls. So I got this coffee girl. I got these because they kind of, I felt like they could go with um, Valentine's or February. So that is my planner haul. Thank you for sticking with me. I know this is, was a very long haul. So to recap, if you want to be entered to win a, for a chance to win a pin or for me to mail you a pin, send you some happy mail, um, leave a planner tip down below, okay, in the comments. Then I will um, leave all of the products linked down below. And um, if you can remember to think of it, um, leave me some brush tip lettering marker suggestions. I, um, I, and if you do know that if those stamping up markers will work, let me know that. And, and then I will have Jamie's, all, all of Jamie's information linked down below, all the products linked down below. Now, all of these products are not affiliate links. The only affiliate link I will have linked down below is, um, uh, for Jamie's shop. So, um, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. I know this is a very long video and, um, I will not do a plan with me or a planner or flip through video probably until the end of February. I will come back next, um, next Sunday and announce the winner and show you something planner related, but I was out of town for a week and um, I kind of got behind in my planners and I, I feel like I'm behind because it's going to be the first of February and I'm not even completely set up yet. So, so I've got a lot of work to do this week. Um, so anyhow, but it's fun work. I mean, <laughs> I love it. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.